Okay, let's continue. Who knows, you might find a, an easier way to do this, but uh, this is the only way I can figure. Goes like that. The ones in the front are more obvious what I'm doing here. These go here, spacer and spring. There's four holes for the screws to go down in, tapped holes, like that. Now lift up the, the stripper plate over the pins like that, squeeze it with your hand. And you can see the tops of the screw heads coming up. You gotta get the screws started without stripping them like that once they're started um, what you can do is opposite corners this one here at uh, you know put a few turns on it come over here put a few turns on this one this is a ball end allen key with that you can just get this one here without pushing without having to use a regular allen key and just put a few turns on each one opposite corners you don't have to worry about these yet opposite corners until it bottoms out just a few turns each otherwise the angle gets it gets so crooked that you might damage the threads and then once they're tight you can wind down the other two with your fingers And that's it. You would have to do that in reverse to take the punches out. The dies probably won't wear very much. Uh, the punches are doing all the work, but you know, you'll be able to send this stuff back to me and have it resharpened or make new ones in the future. But that's it. That's basically the assembly. Tight. Goes up and down. 